Gaps in access to health care services need to be urgently addressed as the world looks to end AIDS as a public health threat by 2030. And that's according to Winnie Yanyima, the executive director of UN AIDS. In a public address at the University of Nairobi, she also called for measures to tackle the next global health pandemic to be put in place now. Wilkerson Yabo reports. Good afternoon, everybody. Academicians, scientists, and students gathered at the University of Nairobi for the institution's first public lecture of the year. At the session, the UNAIDS Executive Director, Winnie Bianima, called for an end to the injustices around HIV and AIDS while also preparing for the next pandemic. Of the global total of over 38 million people living with HIV today, an estimated two-thirds live in sub-Saharan Africa. This, experts believe, is mostly driven by several factors. So HIV is driven by inequalities, ugly inequalities that lead to being infected and also lead to death because those who are infected, some of them cannot get on treatment. In 2021, the world recorded 1.5 million new HIV infections. During the same period, 650,000 people died of AIDS-related causes. Among the newly infected, in the age group of between 10 to 24 years, girls accounted for four out of every five infections. This is one of several examples which further highlight the belief that the spread of HIV, especially in Africa, is rooted in inequality. The UNAIDS executive director say the world could end HIV as a public health threat by enabling equal access to healthcare technologies, putting in place fairer global financial systems, tackling gender inequality and ending discrimination and stigma. It could also use the same structures to tackle future pandemics. So we are calling for a better system for debt restructuring. There has to be a system where you can go quickly, get your loan quickly, solve your problem, because epidemics don't wait. They are running fast. There has to be a system like that and where we have equal chance. While 75% of people diagnosed with HIV across the world are on life-prolonging antiretroviral medication, only half of infected children have access to the treatment. In 2021, global leaders committed to end the inequalities that drive HIV infections and limit access to vital services. They have further committed to ending HIV in children by 2030. We are still far from fighting a cure for HIV AIDS, a long way from fighting a vaccine against it. We therefore must make sure that this area of research is given the highest priority in scientific budgets, especially given the recent emergence of viral infections as we endeavor to stay ahead of the HIV virus. It is a massive undertaking, one which stakeholders believe begins with breaking down several barriers to continued access to vital services. Wilkes Anyabwa, CGTN.